Allergy and medicine videos, please make sure to subscribe, join the four man group for the latest videos. Please visit Facebook on and Instagram. Please like. Here you can also ask questions, answer questions, and post some interesting things, including your artworks. You can also change the quality settings to the highest one for great graphics. In this video, we'll talk about malaria. When we think of malaria, we think of mosquito, but malaria is not caused by a mosquito. Rather, malaria is caused by a parasite that the mosquito carries. Malaria is caused by the protozoan genus Plasmodium. So the mosquito in this case is specifically called Anopheles from the Anopheles genus, and they carry the parasite Plasmodium. Malaria is a problem, especially in developing and tropical countries. There is 300 to 500 cases of malaria, uh, 300 to 500 million cases of malaria each year, and two to three million deaths annually. And this occurs mainly in children. So Plasmodium is a parasitic genus that causes malaria. There are actually few types of Plasmodiums that infect man. These are the Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium malaria, and Plasmodium ovale. Now, as the name suggests, you would probably think Plasmodium malaria is the main uh, agent, like causative agent, but it's actually not. Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium falciparum are the main agents of malaria. Let's have a look at how the Plasmodium infects uh, humans by, and, what it, and what happens by looking at its life cycle from the time it enters a human body. So here I'm drawing a child uh, which comes, which where, and he comes from a tropical area because this is where malaria is epidemic. And as well, I'm drawing a liver here because liver has a main role in the malarial infection. Now, here I am drawing a female Anopheles mosquito, um, which is carrying the Plasmodium parasite. It's a female because female mosquitoes are the one that bites and sucks blood from humans and infects humans. So, first what happens during the life cycle is that a mosquito injects a sporozoite when it bites the human. A sporozoite is just a technical term for an immature form of plasmodium parasite. I'll be using some other terms, but whatever I use, they refer to the parasite itself. So the sporozoite gets injected into the bloodstream. The sporozoite travels to the liver via the blood and will take up residence in the hepatocytes, which are the liver cells. So here, the sporozoite will take up residence in the hepatocyte. The sporozoite will be, begin multiplying asexually to form many merozoites. If there are many merozoites, this is collectively known as a schizont. All these merozoites are then released uh, by the hepatocytes uh, back into the bloodstream by rupturing the hepatocyte itself. So let's just recap what happened. In the liver, the sporozoites will multiply asexually and become heaps of merozoites. The liver cells will then burst, releasing these merozoites into the bloodstream. And this occurs about seven to 10 days later. So here in the blood, we have this merozoite. Now in the blood, all these merozoites will begin invading erythrocytes, the red blood cells and multiply again within the red blood cells to form many more merozoites until the red blood cells burst, releasing them into the bloodstream. So here, the merozoite will invade this particular red blood cell. The merozoite within the red blood cell will form into a ring-like structure and then a trophozoite. And from this trophozoite stage, it will multiply asexually to form many, many more merozoites. With many, many more merozoites, the red blood cell will just burst, releasing all these merozoites again back into the bloodstream. So what will happen with all these merozoites? Well, the cycle will just repeat itself. The merozoites will invade more red blood cells, they will multiply, and they will burst out. Each time this happens, this will cause chills, fever, and sweating. The chills, fever, and sweating are typical symptoms of malaria. So with each time these, cell, these red blood cells burst, releasing more merozoites, 
uh, the person will keep having chills, fever, and sweating. And this cycle just continues, and this may eventually lead to death because of depletion of red, red blood cells, for example, and high temperature. So these merozoids will keep invading red blood cells and multiply. Now, after a several sexual asexual cycles, the merozoids can infect a red blood cell, and instead of replicating or multiplying, they will they can develop into sexual forms of the plasmodium parasite, which are the plasmodium gametocytes. Now, there has to be two types, a female and a male gametocyte. So here, we have a merozoite invading a red blood cell and forms gametocytes, a female and a male gametocytes, both still in the red blood cell. So what do these gam gametocytes do? Well, they can't really do much in the human body. They require an Anopheles mosquito in order to become a sporozoite, an infective form of the plasmodium species again. So therefore, if another uninfected Anopheles mosquito comes along, a female, and bites this particular infected human being, it will suck up these gametocytes, the male and the female. So writing this up, the mosquito will bite this infected human, it will digest the male and female gametocytes, which will allow the gametocytes to develop into mature sex cells called gametes. So here this Anopheles mosquito will suck up this male and female gametocyte. And then let's just zoom into this back of this Anopheles mosquito to see what happens with these um, gametocytes, now gametes. The gametes will fuse together to form a zygote which will form an oocyte where we have uh, sporozoites uh, begin to develop. These sporozoites will multiply and then will cause the oocyte to rupture, releasing the sporozoites. The sporozoites will move into the salivary glands of the mosquito, ready to be injected into another human being or anything else. So the male and female, so again, the male and female gametes enter the sporogenic cycle producing more pathogenic sporozoites. The mosquito, in this case a female, can then bite another human and infect it, causing malaria. And this cycle will continue. The infected Anopheles mosquito can then inject the parasite sporozoite into another human being, causing malaria. So how would you treat malaria? Well, you treat it with a group of drugs known as quinines. The complications that can arise with malaria include splenomegaly, enlargement of the spleen, hepatomegaly, enlargement of the liver, pulmonary edema, renal failure, jaundice, as well as high fever. Thank you for watching. Thank you.